Units of the 10th Mountain Assault Brigade fought off a major mechanized assault by Russians in the Donetsk region. A video capturing the destruction of Russian armor and personnel was posted on the unit's telegram page. The Russian assault consisted of 22 units of military equipment, including tanks at the head of the column, as well as tracked and wheeled armored personnel carriers with troops inside. The aerial reconnaissance of the 10th Brigade. These columns timely detected the column and in a short time deployed all weapons to destroy the enemy equipment. First, to stop the enemy assault, the brigade used FPV drones, which successfully hit Russian vehicles, including armored personnel carriers. As the infantry started to leave the hit vehicles, drones with grenades began to work on their cluster, causing significant casualties. According to aerial reconnaissance estimates, the Russians involved about 120 soldiers in the assault. The soldiers used anti-tank missile systems to defeat and destroy heavy equipment, which hit several enemy combat vehicles, including tanks. The enemy's columns were also covered by artillery, which helped stop them on their approach to the mountain infantry positions. In total, thanks to the quality of their preparation for the defense, they managed to destroy 15 units of armored vehicles, including six tanks and nine infantry fighting vehicles. Militarny previously reported that the Ukrainian Mountain Infantry of the Edelweiss Brigade fought off a massive Russian assault with armored vehicles in the Donetsk region. The Russian command sent a significant number of infantry and BMP-1 infantry fighting vehicles to the assault. In another direction, the soldiers from the 36th Marine Brigade and the 1st Tank Brigade repelled a Russian assault in the Kursk Oblast. To defend the positions, the soldiers of the 1st Tank Brigade and the 36th Marine Brigade worked closely together to destroy enemy equipment and personnel. After preparing their positions, the soldiers of the 1st Tank Brigade mined the direction in which the enemy was supposed to advance to the positions of the Ukrainian military. Three enemy infantry fighting vehicles moved toward the positions of the Ukrainian military, two of which were blown up by mines, and the third managed to drive directly to the positions where the enemy assault group landed. After the assault group landed, the Russian IFV began to return to its positions, but was successfully destroyed by the soldiers of the 36th Marine Brigade using a Javelin anti-tank system. Having destroyed all the equipment that took part in the assault, the military began to clear the outskirts of the positions from the remnants of the enemy who managed to reach the defenders. Meanwhile, a Hostry Kartuzi unit of the National Guard of Ukraine destroyed Russian armored vehicles near Pokrovsk. According to the report, the enemy continues to try to conduct a successful assault in this area, but due to poor preparation, it suffers significant losses in both manpower and military equipment. As part of the defense of the positions, on the morning of November 5, 2024, Hostry Kartuzi destroyed two Russian tanks and one infantry fighting vehicle. The military equipment was fitted with additional protection in the form of anti-drone grills, which in theory should have protected it from Ukrainian drones. The National Guard of Ukraine's Hostry Kartuzi unit was involved in the defense of Pokrovsk at the end of October 2024. A group of special forces destroyed the occupiers using attack drones. At the beginning of the full-scale invasion, the unit's soldiers performed mostly infantry work, namely storming positions. However, they gradually retrained to work with drones. First, they mastered Mavic, and a year ago, they started actively using FPV drones. Today, the Pokrovsk direction is a top priority for the Ukrainian defense forces, constantly reinforcing their positions to hold the city. Despite significant losses, the enemy continues trying to capture the city, throwing more and more military equipment into the battle, most of which the defenders destroy. Not only that, FPV drone operators of the Achilles Battalion of the 92nd Assault Brigade destroyed enemy armored vehicles. Judging by the published footage, enemy armored vehicles that were in hiding in the forest belt were destroyed, as well as vehicles that were abandoned on the battlefield. In addition to the armored vehicles, 
enemy personnel and vehicles were also hit. Ну, в основном стандарт 